Welcome to March's Lico Challenge. Today's problem is word subsets. You are given two arrays A and B of words. Each word is a string of lowercase letters. Now say that word B is a subset of word A. If every letter in B occurs in A, including multiplicity, for example, WRR is a subset of warrior because it has one W and two R's, but not a subset of world because this only has one R. Now say a word A is um, say a word A from A is universal if for every B in B, B is a subset of A. So in other words, say that we had a list like this, E and O, um, the word Amazon would not be universal because it does have one O, but it has no E's. Same with Apple, it has one E, but no O, but Facebook has one E and one O, so this would be universal. Same with Google, same with Leeco, so you can see these will be output. So initially, uh, there definitely is a straightforward way we could iterate down in a nested for loop and check to see if every one of these letters inside of each word exists inside of the word that we're checking for as well as the number. So the number of every word needs to be equal to or less than the number of words in here. Uh, but instead of doing that for every single B inside of B, why don't we create one single data structure that's going to contain the maximum number of every character and every character that exists inside of B. Uh, that way we don't have to like do a nested for loop. We could just check all at once because what matters here is does every single letter inside here exist as well as the maximum number of that value? Is it less than or equal to a number inside of here? Okay, so um, it's kind of a two-step process. We're gonna first create a total word, I guess. We'll call it total word. And then we're gonna iterate down in a for loop every A and check to see if it's inside of all the total words. Okay. So I'm gonna call this total word and this will just be a dictionary. It's technically a counter, but uh, you know what, it's fine to just use a dictionary. Now for B in B, we're gonna first create a temp object and this will just be a counter of the word B. Now for every single letter and the number of times it appears inside of the temp. We're going to add it to our total word here. Uh, I call that total world, total word. And we have to first check to see if K not in total word, then this just becomes total word K equals value. Otherwise, if it's in there already, then we have to get the maximum. So this k is going to equal the maximum of v or whatever this already is. Okay, so now we have our total word. Uh, let's make sure this looks right. So this should have one E, one O. Okay, great. All right, so now that we have that, we could create an output and we'll say for every A in A, we wanna make sure that every value in total word is inside of A as well as the counts, right? So we'll create a temp object here for the word A. And what do we do? Well, we're gonna move through the key and values in the total word and check to see if all of them exist. So I'm going to do this in a nested uh, list comprehension. Uh, basically, all, the condition that needs to be true is if, let's see, I don't need if. The te uh, well, key is in temp and the value is less than or equal to the total word K. So all of this needs to be true if we want to output it to our output. So if all this is true, whoops, then let's add it to our output here. Otherwise, we just continue our loop and then we just return our output. Okay, so let's make sure this works. 
All right, that looks like it's working. Let's go ahead and submit that. I got the wrong answer. Hmm. Let's see. What did I do wrong here? Uh, let's see. V is less than or equal to. Oh, okay. It's not. It's not total. What we're doing here. It's the temp, right? Yep, there we go. So my mistake, we're checking the temp, not, not, we're not checking itself again. Uh, so uh, you can see this works. Time complexity wise, it's going to be m plus n times the length of our words. I believe that's 10. Um, there definitely are ways to optimize this a little bit. Um, but, you know, th this works. I, I think it's totally reasonable. We do use extra memory, m plus n as well here. Uh, but overall, I think. This is fairly optimal and acceptable, so hope that helps. Thanks for watching my channel. Remember, do not trust me. I know nothing.